So today, I want to talk about Madden 24. Because I want to kind of talk about something that I'm kind of scared is going to be true. But at the same time, though, it's pretty much already confirmed. And I want to give my thoughts and opinions, and you give your thoughts and opinions down below what you guys think about the whole situation. So, the trade block. You know, that's something that, if we're being honest with ourselves, is an interesting debate to talk about. Some people, when you hear about the trade block, they go, oh my gosh, of course. Farm accounts. Is this really a pack? I mean, is it? Okay, no, maybe never mind. Maybe that was not a bad pack. I was kind of like going to trash that pack, but it actually seems like okay. But anyway, so yeah, so trade block. A lot of people, every time you say that, that word, you either get, oh yeah, I love the trade block, or oh, of course the trade block, where those scummy people with their farm accounts and, you know, their um, way too much time on their hands spend working the auction house or, you know, getting free coins and take away from time from us. You know, people who spend money on the game or people just don't have the time to do what people other people do. Or, you get another camp of people who sit there and say, I love farm accounts. I love getting extra coins. I love getting extra players. I love being able to, you know, just get the best team possible without spending money. You have two different camps every single time. I you talk about the all when you talk about the trade block, right? You got a camp that hates it and a camp that loves it. And if you play Mad Twenty Three, you know the trade block is going. Now recently, um, Madden Twenty Four they created a, they posted a Madden Twenty Four forum, and in that forum they talked about the trade block. Well. At first they did. When they first posted it, they said the Madden 24 auction and trade. Meaning this and this. And if you go to Madden 23, um, it just literally does not load no matter what you do. Right? So they talked about Madden 24, the trade and the auction house. They posted a whole form about it, talked about these two things and said how yeah they're going to be in Madden 24. And then EA Sports went in, edited that. It took out the trade block section. So, based on what we understand, based on that knowledge, and based on what we understand overall wise about Madden 24 so far with the whole new category system, there's probably not going to be a trade block of any kind, right? We're not going to see a trade block in Madden 24. What does that mean, right? Does that mean the market's going to be different? Does that mean that the market is going to be cheaper now and there won't be any more bound you account players? And, you know, now the pearly gates opened up and everyone gets to enjoy the fact that because there's no farm accounts, because there's no trade block, then no, there's no more, longer going to be bot accounts, right? There's no longer going to be those scummy people making free coins. No. Nothing is going to change. At all. So if you're on the boat or the side that is saying, listen, I am so happy that farm accounts are going. I am so happy that farm accounts are, I say not farm accounts, the trade block is going. You're not going to benefit in any way for, from that happening. Okay? In no way. There will probably be more bound to your account players than this year, next year. I'm going to guess that especially, especially with how successful it was this year for EA Sports to give us bound to account players and make it so that you literally can't auction and tradable, tra auction or trade half your guys, it's just going to continue to be like that in next year's game. So those who do blame the farm accounts and blame the trade block, you're not going to get anything different. You're going to get the same game. For those who do like trade block because they like farm accounts, maybe trading cards with their friends, showing off different cards, or simply maybe, you know, giving cards to streamers so that they can use the cards, you're you're crapped out of luck. It's not gonna be back. And if you use it for free coins, you're either gonna have to spend money 
or you're just gonna have to s probably stop playing the game and it sucks but we're getting closer and closer i feel like every year to a all money spent game mode and i know the i mean the comment down below i already i can already read ahead of time someone saying oh well you now see now you're saying that you either spend money or farm accounts but i got my account to a 99 overall and you know n uh no money spent without any farm accounts you can do that correct but at the same time though it takes time to do that over the year if you want to get a really good squad day one spending no money at all farm accounts were there for that reason you know yes you can have a pretty good squad from grinding solo challenges and grinding your account whatever but it was a nice little option anyone wants to use it it's there and now it's no longer going to be there and again like i said is the trade block gonna make man 24 suck is it gonna destroy man 24 no but it's going to probably kill off a large base of the community that like to use it. And if you think that, well, no one uses it outside of just farm accounts. Before it got killed off, right? Before EA took it down. There was always cards on the trade block. Always. And it wasn't just farm accounts. There were people who traded cards back and forth. There were actually, and I know it's surprisingly enough to say this, guys. There were people who posted cards and actually traded with one another. Like, you know, hey, I want to, I don't want this card anymore. I want someone else. Someone offers on that card. I know it's rare, but it was there. The whole premise of it, of this game mode, right, is a, it's, it's a card game, right? And the point of any card game, when you play Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, football cards whatever is to trade with one another build the best squad by auction and trade you just took away the, one of the key principles of the whole game mode and again i've said this a billion times in this video and i said i probably said it again a billion times in this video i know there will be people who are so happy about this change but i'm gonna tell you right now if you're happy about this you're not benefiting in any way by this change happening. All it is, is this going to take away a lot of the part of the, uh, a big part of the community. And it's just going to change nothing by EA Sports. They're going to still make cards stupid looks uh, NAT. They're still going to make sets hard to complete and impossible to complete unless you spend money. Nothing's going to change there. It is what it is at the end of the day. But it does suck that, you know, for those who do like to spend grind hours and time in the game, you know, it takes away from that one part. It is what it is. Again, like I said, EA Sports, they made it very clear that this game mode is not meant for those who want to spend time grinding. This game mode is meant for those who want to spend money. And we're going to continue to see that throughout next year until... Eventually, EA Sports goes on this, like, max thing where so many people stop playing the game and just get tired of spending money on the game that they have to change and fix things. And I really think next year is going to be the year we see you the ability to actually spend money to buy coins. Spend money to buy players. Spend money to do a lot of different things. That catalog system, I feel like, especially with, you know... That being a huge feature of Madden 24 and Mutt 24, I think it's only it's only step one of the process for the future. So we're going to see a lot more of that kind of system going on with Madden 24. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.